You've heard people say entrepreneurship isn't for everybody, but is it for you? Check it out. Greetings, millionaires. It's your billionaire boss chick, Tiffany Renee, and we are here with another Millionaire Move Monday, and I want to know what moves are you making? So for those of you who are new to my channel, I'm Tiffany Renee, your billionaire boss chick, and each week I bring you tips and tools to help you build business and create wealth. So today, I want to just talk to you about entrepreneurship. Is it right for you? I work with a lot of business owners, entrepreneurs, and, um, you know, I have so many clients who have this question. They have great ideas, but they want to know, is entrepreneurship really for me? And I'm going to be honest, entrepreneurship is not for the weak. <laughs> it, I've stayed up countless, countless hours. In fact, even having to set up the videos for this can take some, so much time to get things prepared and ready. And so it's not for the weak. It's not for the faint at heart. It takes some grind and grit. But if you're passionate about something, it is so, so worth it. So I'm going to give you five traits today to just identify. If you identify with these five things, then I believe you can definitely be an entrepreneur and it is for you. So uh, trait number one, do you have an extreme passion? An extreme passion for something, something that burns and keeps you up at night, something that you feel like you just have to do or you almost can't breathe or you're going to die. Like something that you know you're called to do, serve and will help solve a problem for other people because that's what entrepreneurs do. We solve problems. So do you have an extreme passion, something that just burns inside of you that you feel like I have to do this before I leave this earth? That's going to be tip number one. If you have an extreme passion and it keeps go keeps you going year after year after year, if you haven't done it, keeps you still in the back of your mind, something you know you're passionate about and you want to do, that is definitely a trait of entrepreneur. Okay, trait two. Do you have a big enough why? So most people, we all want to be rich. Most of us want to be rich and have a lot of money. And so you have a lot of people who want to start a business just for the money. But money definitely is not going to be enough to sustain you through entrepreneurship. Why do I say that? Because the money doesn't always come up front. It takes time for you to sew in, sew in time, and you're oftentimes putting money into the business before you yield a return. And so for most people, if you don't have a extreme why as to why I have to complete this, why do I have to get this done? Why do I have to do this for not just me, but for someone else, maybe for a family mem member, maybe you want to leave a legacy Maybe you want to help the homeless. Maybe you want to help someone with mental illness. That passion drives is driven by the why. But if the why is only you want to make money and you only want to serve yourself, nine times out of ten, it's not going to be something that will help you to endure the hardships of entrepreneurship. So you have to determine what is my why because that's what's going to keep me going even when things get rough. And Believe me, you're going to have some rough days, which brings me to number three. You have to have an extreme um, resistance to rejection. We are all going to be rejected. Oftentimes, you're going to be told no, 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 no. <laughs> so many times you have to become immune to it. And you have to know that don't take it personal. It's part of being in business. Everybody's not going to like the services that you provide. Everybody's not going to need them. Everybody's not going to like the product that you have. Everybody's not going to need them. And so sometimes they may not be ready. Sometimes they don't want to give you the funding. Are you going to continue when you're told no 120,000 times? So entrepreneurs have a really high resistance to rejection. It's a part of business. And so if you think you're going to get in the business and it's just going to be hunky-dory and roses and you're just going to make all this money, help all these people and just, you know, bask out into the sunset, good luck because most of us entrepreneurs have had no on repeat so many times that we are almost immune to it. So brings me to number four. 
extreme discipline. You're going to have to have a lot of discipline because you have to put routines in to be able to move your product or your service forward. And that's one of the things that with my clients, I find that they lack the most. So you have to have extreme disciplines. Every business that you go to, they have some type of operation systems. It's the same over and over and over again. And you have to be willing to put in the work over and over and over again until it yields the return that you're desired to get. So do you have extreme discipline? If you don't, that's fine, but you need to develop extreme discipline so that you can get your business off the ground because without it nothing gets done and then lastly the biggest one oh number five i'm gonna say it's the willing to change if you could do it the way you are right now you would have already done it so most entrepreneurs come to me and they don't want to change certain things but you have to change your mindset to move into it move into the different into a different level and so it's going to be important that you're willing to make the necessary changes in your life and on a personal level to be able to withstand and endure all that comes with entrepreneurship but if you have these five tra traits if you have extreme passion if you have a definite why that's bigger than yourself if you understand that rejection is part of the package and if you have some extreme discipline and lastly you have to be willing to change in order to become the person that um, you were created to be and the person that you need to be to run your business these are the five traits that I believe you need if you're gonna be an entrepreneur they have definitely helped me and if you're having trouble with those things set up an appointment with me you can always set up an appointment with me I work with entrepreneurs to help them put together plans to execute those ideas that are in their heads and get them out into the marketplace and so that's our millionaire move Monday um, I'm Tiffany Renee your billionaire boss chick remember I'm here every Monday giving you tools and tips to build business and create wealth if you would listen like and share and I'll see you next week